Les Hinton began his career as a 15-year-old copy boy at the Adelaide Advertiser in 1959. Among his duties was fetching sandwiches for 28-year-old Rupert Murdoch. Hinton became one of Murdoch's most important executives in a 50-year career with news. He has been variously described as Murdoch's hitman, one of his most trusted lieutenants and an astute political operator. Rupert had a great deal of respect and trust for Les. Les is a, is a smart fella who knew what Rupert wanted done, would get it done, and he'd get it done with very little fuss. He was able to do it with a smile on his face. That, that is an enduring memory of Les, is that he's always seemed to be happy, no matter where he is or what he's doing. Hinton was a reporter, foreign correspondent and editor for Murdoch before being appointed to run, in succession, almost all parts of Murdoch's newspaper empire in the US and UK. In 2007, Hinton became CEO and publisher of the Wall Street Journal. He is a global media figure and there's not too many people in Australia that you can say that about. A big part of it was being in the right place at the right time. He always seemed to be where Rupert was going to be. Um, partly that was accidental, partly by design, but um, he knew that the, the way to get ahead in News Corp was access to the boss. At the end, Les was uh, in the wrong place at the wrong time, really, um, after a career in which he was uh, always in the right place. Um, he took the fall for something that had nothing to do with him. I mean, all you could really accuse him of Absolutely was being the boss at the time that, that bad things happened uh, in News International.